Hello there, I'm um, John, uh, ex Booze Hound. Uh, obviously, I'm not wearing my glasses this time, but now I ain't got a clue where to look on the video, so um, let's see how this goes. Um, last week, uh, I did a conference on Monday. Uh, it was a man made conference, uh, and at 5 past 12, I tweeted the only words I have for the conference is wow, lost for words. Uh, by this point, we'd, we'd only heard from uh, Councillor Paulette Hamilton, uh, who's very much behind the man-made product project, project uh, uh, Terry Rigby from Forward for Life. Uh, what got his, his, his entitled "What Got Us Here: The History of Man Made." Uh, and man Made is a project brought together by Terry at Forward for Life and uh, Karen Thompson at Common Unity. Um, we'd also heard from Johnny Benjamin, um, he's a well-known uh, mental health activist. Um, his subject was with regard to bridges to barriers and then looking, um, looking back whilst moving forward. We heard from Chief, Superintendent, sorry, Chief Inspector Sean Russell of West Midlands Police. Uh, and that was entitled Criminal Justice and the Prevention of Suicide. Uh, I'm fortunate to have met Sean uh, before over at um, Birmingham and Solihull West Midlands Police Mental Health Triage and I uh, think he's got a brilliant setup over there and to see him talking uh, again was, was again very inspirational. Johnny Benjamin was, was very inspirational as well. Uh, and it led in quite nicely because at the end of Johnny's story, um, when someone saved him from uh, jumping off a bridge, uh, he was arrested by the police. Um, and I think it tied in quite nicely because, you know, I suppose at the end of the day, you are going to arrest somebody who, for their own safety. Um, but again, what that led to was uh, Johnny not having uh, contact with the person who sa basically saved his life. Uh, and then he had to do a, um, a campaign. Uh, and finally, he found the guy. Uh, Google him, you'll find him. Google Chief Inspector Sean Russell as well, you'll, you'll find him also. Also, there was a, a guy called Jamie Harrington, uh, a guy from Ireland, 17 years old. Uh, he was, his, um, his uh, what's the word I'm looking for, presentation was uh, entitled Just Three Little Words, Are You OK? Um, basically, this... Uh, uh, this guy, uh, amazing guy, suffered with uh, depression and uh, issues himself, um, took the time to ask somebody who was on Dublin Bridge, are you OK? And um, look him up as well, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, an amazing, amazing young lad. Um, I was there um, doing videos, uh, doing interviews, sorry, with with people at the conference um, and I met some really quite amazing people uh, and they were pretty much all uh, taken aback by how good the start of the uh, of the conference was. Uh, unfortunately I found because of the lot, lot of the conference was about suicide and, and things like that I I got a little bit overpowered really and, and, and had to leave about half past two. Um, it was just, it, I found it was getting to me and, and I was gutted about that. But again, I know it's important to look after uh, your own mental health, uh, you know, and look after yourself. So I missed um, quite a few other great things that were coming up. Um, The conference was brilliant, and I, I urge you to look up um, Johnny Benjamin, Paula Hamilton, Terry Rigby, uh, Karen Thompson, um, Jamie Harrington, Chief Inspector Sean Russell. Um, they're, they're, they're inspirational people. Um, unfortunately, uh, after, after the effort of Monday, uh, last week was a, a bit of a write-off, um, and I, I will I will probably do another um, vlog later on, perhaps to explain a little bit more why. But I I, I I broke a few of my own rules, and I I gave in to the 
uh, misery. Um, I did do my group on Thursday. Uh, coincidentally, this is the room that we, we do the group in at the Hope Centre. And after the group, I attempted to go and watch England play football at a local pub. I uh, tried to go in the front door and there was just far too many people there and I just dropped somebody a message to say there's no way I could handle that amount of people. And I'm mentioning this because I think this is really important because, because I made the effort of letting somebody know I got a text back off him saying we're, we're right at the back door, we've got a spare chair. Um, so I said I'd, I'd try and come up half time, which I did. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, being out and being around mates, but also, you know, again, I found it, you know, very stressful that that that, that many people around. Uh, I'm mentioning it because that that you know, the kindness of a friend made a gave me a, a chance to actually uh, give it a go. Uh, okay, it didn't work out brilliantly, but I gave it a go. And just the other thing I wanted to mention, um, I had a message on Saturday evening um, from. Uh, a lady I speak to on Facebook over in America and it was quite an important thing for me um, and basically all, all the message said was I'm just trying to find it now hope you, are, hope you are okay haven't seen you on Facebook for a while no, I hadn't been on Facebook or Twitter or, or anywhere I basically hid away a bit too much last week uh, which is, that's breaking my rules Anyway, um, I'll catch you soon. Cheers. Bye.